Hi friends. One of the things I loved about the Lifestyle Design Convention was something that Steve Pavlina said, which is he asked uh, himself when he went broke um, running his own business, um, what, if, what if I never figure out how to make money, how to be financially stable? Would I be condemned to a life of suffering because of it? And what he realized is that even if he was permanently broke, he could live a meaningful and happy life. And that was a powerful epiphany for him because once he knew that, he thought, if I can have a meaningful and happy life anyway, why worry about money? Like, just forget it and just work on on doing the meaningful things that, that make you happy. Um, and it's so true. I mean, think about your own life. What's Imagine if you just went totally broke, you never earned another cent in your life. What would happen? You know, our, our, most of our societies that we live in, they take care of you if you if you don't manage to take care of yourself. And, you know, not that you, you know, should take advantage of other people, but there's just, when you start to, if you start to serve, if you just start to do things out of kindness and generosity, there will always be people who will serve back, always. Imagine if you just, if you just, um, um, you know, went, went around houses and offered to, clean people's houses for free just out of generosity or um or just um you know just did anything that 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 people need just go you know go around hugging people like just give f free hugs like just spend the rest of your life with a board that says free hugs and just do that can you imagine that people wouldn't give back to you that that was coming from such a place of generosity um and there's just the, the the we have such an incredible luxury to to be able to purely contribute and focus on that and not worry about money, and yet we tell ourselves that we have to have a job, we have to um, make money, we have to have a house, an apartment, we have to have uh, our own little space and our own security, and um, we have to fit into some existing box that somebody you know has, has else has come up with and and not be true to ourselves not not allow ourselves the time you know we tell ourselves yeah you know I'd, I'd love to do this i'm passionate about that but first i need to become you know financially stable first i need to provide for myself and then i can do what i'm passionate about but when you focus on what you're passionate on and, and come alive first the other stuff will work itself out. There's no, there's no reason to to doubt that if you create your art, that things will not fall into place. But yeah, this idea that, that it was really just about giving. Just Steve said you you focus on on giving and and actually the other thing he said you know it depends on what your goal is is your goal to become a, a billionaire or to have some sort of empire you know and he said i don't want an empire of businesses or um you know thousands of followers or whatever i, I he said i i look to create so much value in the world that um i don't need money you know he said like think about the dalai lama does the dalai and lama need money no he 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 goes around the world. He he need, never needs to touch money because um, of the of the goodwill that he's created. There's always people willing to serve him and 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 look after him. And he doesn't. He just serves the world. That's his pure purpose to serve the world. Can you can you just think about that for a moment? I saw the Dalai Lama speak in Auckland, and um, he just goes around talking about peace and, and the practicalities of it, how to create inner peace and outer peace in the world and um, he inspires people and, and for that he has no shortage of of people offering to house him, feed him and so on. He doesn't need money. 
and that Steve said that was his goal is to to get to a point where he would never need money because um because of that generosity that he's um built up because he says if you think about it um, money is just a representation of debt that society owes to you uh, uh, an agreed upon um way to measure that um, but if you if you generate so much if you have so much generosity for the world and you produce so much value you create so much value then you know you don't need to have an agreed upon measure of debt to that society owes you because everyone will will know that uh, that society owes you infinitely so if you if you knew that you could never make money that you'd be poor your whole life what would you do what would you do with your life it's kind of an interesting question isn't it it's, it's the opposite of what a lot of people ask which is not the opposite but it's a different way of looking at it some people ask what would you do if you could not fail that's also a good question but what would you do if you knew that you could never make money that you would always be poor what would you do with your life then if you knew that for certain what would you do would you serve people Hmm. Food for thought. All right. This is getting long. I'll see you tomorrow.